We were looking for a number 10, a playmaker, a creator. Um, we knew we needed that dimension in this team to play the way we wanted to play, and uh, Diego Valero seemed to be the perfect fit. Guillermo Barros Esquiloto, he was my coach in Lanús. He played here and uh, he told me about USA, about MLS, and uh, he always speak very, very, very good about the league. Yo lo aconsejé, yo le hablé, él tenía esa oferta, a vivir a Estados Unidos, a, a jugar en la MLS. Eh, seguramente fue un empujón lo que le di yo porque el recuerdo que tengo yo de, de la liga y de la vida en Estados Unidos es excelente. Y para mí ha sido maravilloso haber jugado ahí. He told me that the league is very, very good, very competitive, very physical, good technical, uh, and in Argentina is 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 a little bit dangerous because the people is is crazy with the soccer, no? La función que cumple el fútbol en la Argentina creo que es muy amplia. Prácticamente convive con eso en el día a día, en el trabajo, en el lugar donde está. Así que tiene una importancia mucho mayor a la que realmente debiera tener, sin duda. There's no sugarcoating some of the things that, that happen in a, in a league like the Argentinian one, um, with the fans and families not feeling safe. The violence is, uh, yes, now it's worse than 10 years ago. Under pressure, it's too much. You know, it's just a, a sport. And he told me that here is perfect for for that. Mira los caballos, vení, mira. Sí. Los caballos. Mira los que están ahí. <laughs> well, I think uh, Diego's a family guy, and um, you know he grew up in Argentina, and, and obviously it's a great country. But he felt it would be a um, a better quality of life here in this country. Muy bien. My wife and me wants to be here, and now we. We know the city, and really, we are very, very happy. It's very athletic league. There's a lot of direct play. It's not an easy league for an overseas player to transition to. The South American players, they have a different form to play, more quiet into the field, and the U.S. players are very good, very, very physical. Diego, he's taken some big hits from guys um, that think they'll disrupt his play, and, and he hasn't skipped a beat. The first few games, the other teams were to be physical with me, and that is no problem about that. Just, just play. Creo que se destaca el jugador argentino en Estados Unidos porque conoce el paño de lo que hace, el fútbol, el, el ganar. In that first game against New York, we're down a goal. Balls kind of bounce around the box and uh, kind of pulls something out of a hat and finishes a beautiful goal for us and we tie the game up. My first goal was beautiful for me because uh, I tried to show the people that I want to play in Poland and this is a good first uh, impression. The first goal he scored against New York to be able to, to pull that off was, it's a special play um, and there's not many players around the world who can make that. He's one of the nicest guys, honestly, I've ever coached and, and that's made a huge impact. Um, in our locker room and with our club. Diego is, first of all, he's a very humble guy and uh, down to earth, quiet. And I must say it's a pleasure getting to know him as a person, but also as a football player, he's a tremendous footballer. Well, he's a very technical, skillful player. You know, we needed a kind of a straw that stirs the drink guy that's going to be the creator, that's going to have the ball a lot and dictate what we're doing in the attack. He's a special player. There's times on the field when, when he makes a pass that, that I haven't seen uh, until he makes it. 
the stuff that goes through his brain and you know seeing things and being able to execute. He makes our midfield tick. Creo que Diego Valeri tiene esas cosas que pueden marcar historia en un equipo. Me parece que tiene calidad, tiene talento. Este que si las acompaña con un buen carácter puede marcar mucha diferencia en la liga. He's a home run, Diego Valeri. We wouldn't be able to play the way we're playing without him. But beyond that, he's impacted our culture because he stands for all the right things. In Argentina, they didn't didn't go to to the same. They had to, to see the, the match at home. But now they going to the stadium with me, normal. You know, uh, I love this. I love this. This is this is my place.